hey everybody and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are diving into the email showdown of privacy or convenience what's more important to you whether you're all about encrypted emails or you just want seamless integration with your favorite apps choosing the right email service is key but the question is which one fits your need so let's begin choosing between Proton Mail and Gmail depends on your needs for privacy, features, and ease of use. Let's talk about Proton Mail for now. You see, it's basically a secure email service that focuses on privacy and encryption. All right. Now, if you go to their official website, which is ProtonMail.com, you might want to be welcomed by this homepage where you can simply click the create a free account. But if you want to to make sure that this is going to be the uh, platform that you wanted to choose over gmail you might want to click on the pricing first because from here you should be able to make sure that these are the uh, pricing that fits your needs and budget all right so they offer a free account all right there's nothing you have to pay for but of course it has a quite a quite a few of limitations it only offers one gigabyte storage one user one email address all right now the mail plus comes with 3.99 and you get all these perks and advantages for you to take advantage you also have the, the uh, proton mail and proton uh, calendar the uh most popular the proton unlimited which is comes from this price right here you have all these plus the uh premium value included which are mail calendar vpn drive and pass and of course, but not least, it is the uh, Proton Duo, which comes at this price. They also have the uh, families and individuals. All right. You have all these. Now, let's try to create a free account to make sure that we are going to test waters and gauge if this is the platform for us. What will happen is we'll be forwarded to this small dialog box. Just click the continue with Proton Free. You would be forwarded here. All I have to do now is obviously create your pro own account just follow the on-screen instructions now once you have successfully created your account here in pro own mail you should be able to receive a welcome email to, to get started and of course you have all these all right from here basically it functions as a regular email with has a privacy focus because pro own mail does not log ip addresses or track user activity ensuring online behavior remains private so this is one of the uh, strong features of proton mail all right emails sent between proton mail users are encrypted in a way that only the sender and recipient can read then even proton mail itself cannot access the content it's very easy really it's it's, it's straightforward just click on the new message put in the uh, email address and you can sign all the information here obviously you can put in as much as of email that you want despite its strong security measures proton mail offers an intuitive interface similar to popular email services all right now let me tell you that proton mail is popular among individuals and organizations that prioritize privacy and security including you know politicians journalists activists and those concerned about the uh, data protection all right now let's head over to the more popular option which is going to be gmail is a free email service provided by google all right and that is it has become one of the most widely used email platforms worldwide offering a range of features for personal and professional communication so i really assume by now that you know already what gmail is and you might have been using gmail already so i'm not gonna prolong this agony by going to the official website of gmail and if you haven't created a, an account here this is going to be the perfect time you have two options you can create an account for your personal gains or maybe for your work or business if you click this button right here you would be forwarded to choose the email that is best for your business okay now the difference is for a custom email and productivity features for your business you might want to try the google workspace you have all these up to five terabyte of storage per user in google drive which is uh, very generous in terms of their premium features. But on the other hand, if you just wanted to get an email address, you know, just for your uh, personal use, 
it says it's no cost. So click the get an email address, fill in the information, and once you've done that, now one of the best key features of Gmail is that it provides a substantial amount of free storage, currently 15 gigabytes shared across Gmail, Google Drive, and Google Photos. How do we know that? I want you to go to the upper right corner where you can see the Google Apps. And if you want, just click on the G Drive or Google Drive. And as you can see, that is 15 gigabyte shared across, again, Gmail, Google Drive, and Google Photos. Of course, users can purchase additional storage if needed by clicking on this button right here. Now, going back to the Gmail, you see it has an advanced spam filters automatically separated unwanted or harmful emails from the inbox right here. You have the spam right here. All right. And of course, it has a seamless integration with the Google ecosystem. By that, obviously, we're, we mean by the all the Google services like, you know, YouTube, Gmail, um, Google Meet, Google Drive, Google Calendar, Chat, Play, basically Google Docs, Sheets, Books. There's a lot. All right. So now in terms of the, uh, for example, we're going to the, the inbox. You have an option here for the labels. All right. For example, you click this. You can put in on the uh, start. All right. You see, you can put in a label. If you wanted if you want to create a new label that's one of the best things here and you can nest the label under a specific parent all right click that you also have an option to move it to somewhere else if you want all right add to tasks which is one of the great thing create an event out of this email or you can filter the messages like these to make sure that it's not harmful, it's not spam. So these are going to be a lot of your options. You can also have the option to switch to advanced toolbar. What will happen is you would be able to do that here. All right. Now, our verdict is that you choose Gmail if you're looking for productivity, integrations, and convenience, especially if you are already using Google services or if you're part of an organization, a team that heavily relies on the Google workspace or Google ecosystem, obviously Gmail is the best for you, no questions. However, you choose Pro and Mail if you prioritize privacy, security, and independence from big company, big technological uh, organization, which is great for activists, journalists, or privacy conscious individuals all right and again if you pr value privacy above all else prawn mail is the way to go but if you're looking for a feature rich versatile email platform with a deep integrations gmail is hard to beat no question that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching we will see you again in the next one